It's for a good cause. Yeah, actually. Burn his fate up. More or less. That night, visions troubled my sleep. This dream has revealed to me the exact nature of the first trial. In fact, I've already passed it by collecting my blood in a sterile vial. I still have to understand the six other stages by patiently putting some order into the confusion of texts and images stirring in my memory. In the train bringing me back to Vladiviste, I found a Bible. The book opened spontaneously to this passage from Matthew. Narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. I drowsed off, still dreaming, and I saw myself in a deserted place, walking in the snow, my feet stepping precisely in the prints of those who had preceded me. Okay. We didn't burn the whole Bible, as we can see here. Uh, I think that's good for him. Uh, what we shall do now? Something's changed in this village. I feel uneasy. Before I go see if I have mail, I'd like to see how Maria is doing. He just told us what we shall do. So, let's do it. Ugh, that's disgusting. You know. Let's ask him. He seems to know us a lot. Who could be responsible for this painting? The Iron Guards. They came from Alba Yula in a big car, with their armbands on and everything. The adults say you're drawing misfortune onto the village. Maybe that's true, but I like you anyway. Okay, let's go ahead. Maria, I'm worried about you. Are you all right? Of course, don't worry. Who painted those horrible things on the walls of the house? Riffraff, but they didn't dare come into the dispensary. That's disgusting. It's sad, but the shame is on them. That's impossible. I signed a contract with the Vesnesia Foundation and can't just leave like that. Maria, I have to complete the mission I've been given, and I may lose my life doing it. But I don't want anything to happen to you because of me. There is nothing to fear. You're very brave. I feel protected. Do what you have to do and don't worry about me. Okay, we shouldn't worry about her. She's a grown-up. But we are still a little worried, aren't we, guys? Yeah, we should be, I guess. Let's see what's happening here. Talk to this lady. Ah, so you're back, father. I got it. I remembered. Erguyert. Pardon me? Yeah, the city in Turkey where Mr. Luca wanted to go, whose name I didn't remember. Well, it came back to me. It's Erguyert. Thank you, Ozana. Also, I wanted to ask, without offending you, are you going to be staying much longer? I don't know. 
Father, till now, I've kept your room like you asked me to. But I'd like, in so many words, to get it back. Really? Why is that? Is your inn full? Haven't you got another available room? No, no, it's not that. But you see... Ozana, you have no reason to ask me to leave your place of business. I intend to keep my room, for which I pay quite regularly the agreed price. Very well, father. Don't take it badly. How couldn't I take it badly? Rude lady. Let's go ahead to my room. We have some more letters here from Irina. You will find here in the file that I had. I promise you on the Thule Society. So, oh, this is the names. List of members of the Thule Society who have subscribed for the addition of the Lord of the Twilight. So these guys have signed up for their eternity with the Lords of Twilight. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay. Neither stamp nor address. Someone carried this letter directly to the inn. Wow, this seems like a threat to me, guys. Go back to Rome. Romania does not want Catholic ravens nor spies in the Pope's pay. Leave very soon and take your mistress with you. Otherwise, mistress? I don't have any mistress. What I know. You only... You alone will be responsible for what will come. That's a threat. If I wouldn't know my better. <clears throat> okay. They just threaten me, guys. Let's call Arena. See what's happening. This is Arena Box Off. Did you receive what I sent you? I received your file on the Thule Society. And the letter from Kreuzberg I sent the next day? Not yet. It shouldn't be long. With the material you have in hand today, have you changed your opinion on vampires? Or are you sticking to your position? I'd be curious to know. Professor, I've decided to follow the path of the dragon. It can't be. Father. No, 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 you misunderstand. I have no intention of becoming a vampire. I want to follow the path like a hunter follows a track, to destroy the beast. Ah, I prefer it that way. But are you conscious of the risks? Oh yes, I know that two people have died attempting it. That's precisely what convinced me of the reality of the danger, and of the necessity to act. Can you help me? If you follow the path, then it's indispensable that you consult my biography of Vlad Tepesh, and other documents I can't entrust to the mail. In particular, there's a rare vase that Herman kept in his wooden chest. Could you visit me again? Of course. I'll take the next train. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye, Father. Okay, so let's take the next train to Budapest. Booty, booty, booty. It's here.
Holy shit, what's happening here, guys? My lord! A syringe? Could Arena box off have been poisoned? In that case, the arrows weren't the cause of her death. Vulnerant omnis ultima necat. All injure, the last one kills. Vulnerant omni. That's the old combination. It doesn't work anymore. The mechanism is well lubricated. I won't be able to find the combination by ear. Uh oh, see if I remember it's this time then. I think it was M. C. Cylinder. Irina put it in the strong box. That's good. Let's go to the attic, guys. And listen to it. But we are not finished here yet. Let's take this. Thumb blacks. The library's catalog. All that's left is a charred cover.